85%. And since he has been hot, he has avoided walks and he has avoided the extra base hit. There's Christian Walker. As Walker swings and misses, foul tips it into the glove. 48. It's his ball to left field, sends Peralta back. Over his head, it keeps going and gone. Gavin Lux launches an opposite field home run. His first of the season, and the Dodgers strike first. in league home run. Marshall swings, hits it down the left field line. Hit it pretty well toward that corner out there, and this ball hits the pole. It's gone. Opposite field home run. Down the left field line for Clarche. On the ground to Lux, spins and double clutches, and the throw gets away. The Castro's home, Rojas is in it. First time, here's Christian Walker. Muncy backhands it, they go to second for one, and that's all they'll get as Rojas comes in. Make it three to one. Up now, runner at first, two out, swing, sits it in the air to left. Going back at it, on the warning track, on the wall, it's gone, a home run. Opposite field for Cole Calhoun, and the Diamondbacks scored two more. It's been a five run with one out. Corked on a line drive, base hit into center. They will send Pollock. He's in to score. 5 2. Holder facing the lefty. David a chopper to third. Here comes a runner to the plate. Throw to second for what dropped. I think they're going to call him out at second. Uh, Lux will be the hitter. There's a ground ball up the middle into center field for a base hit. Rounding third. And on his way home is Velios. Hits one deep to right center field. That's over Calhoun and off the wall. One run is in. They're going to send Gavin Lux. Here's the throw to the plate. He dropped the ball. And it's a one run. And one game. out here. Left it over the plate. Base hit into center field. Rios coming in. Throw heads to third. The Dodgers have come from behind to tie it. comes up. Ground ball down to first. Diving play by Walker. Underhands to Ginkle for the first out. And third. Bouncing ball left side. Escobar misplays it. And the Dodgers take the lead. Lux coming up. That's a high fly ball to right field. Calhoun's going back on it. Gavin Lux with a second home run of the night. A skyscraping three-run shot against Lopez. Four -seamer. Walker launches one. That's going to go. Christian Walker. Hold the phone. That's his sixth. David Peralta up the middle. That's going to get into center. Escobar is home. An RBI for Peralta. He struck him out. And that ends this roller coaster. Gavin, nice job, obviously, in tonight's game offensively. The three-run shot against Yoan Lopez. Are you thinking off-speed there? Because, you know, the, the pitch before that slider was blocked, and then you're able to uh, take a slider and hit it out. Uh, yeah, I got fooled a little bit on the first one. Uh, I wasn't necessarily looking for anything soft. Uh, just kind of looking for a heater and then racked into anything that was soft. So that was kind of my approach and game plan on that. When we had a conversation with you earlier in the week, you were talking about how when you're in the box, you're thinking a certain thing, whether it's no, 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 yes, and now it's pretty much the opposite of that. How have you evolved even since that conversation about trusting yourself when you're in the box? Yeah, me, Rob, Brownie, Aaron have had some really good conversations about just trusting myself and trusting my eyes and um, just, you know, going up there and hitting and have fun. And, and that's really been it. So much pressure coming into this season, not only from the outside world, but on yourself as well, wanting to perform. When you have the first home run, that's one thing. But when you're able to give your team the lead at the time and ultimately the win, how much does that monkey fall off your back when the ball's going over the fence? I mean, it always feels good to see the ball go over the fence, but there were some really good at-bats before uh, my last at-bat. That gave me a shot to, you know, capitalize on any mistakes that happened. So uh, hitting is contagious, like I always say. <laughs> you certainly left an imprint on this game, but this is a wild one. You guys left 15 men on base. There was a lot of different things going on. You almost shoot yourself in the foot there, leaving a village on base, but you're able to come back in the in the 10th inning and get it done. What does it say about this team, just the resilience that you guys continue to show? Yeah, I feel like we always find a way to win. Uh, and we just kind of grind at bats out when we need to. And um, you know, we always find a way, and tonight was no different. All right, congratulations, Gavin. Thank you for your time. Walker, Thanks you were cruising there in the beginning and then got into some trouble in the third inning. Was it more of just your stuff? I saw you looking at your finger um, on the bench and kind of peeling away some layers. How much of this was physical? How much of this was mechanical? Uh, 
you know, he made the decision for me to go out there and pitch, and and just didn't go our way in the third. Um, you know, obviously the couple home runs, but other other than those two swings, I, I think made some decent pitches and and just didn't get out of it, and and that's on me. So, uh, you know, luckily we have a bullpen to kind of float us in, until late there and and score some runs and get us back in it and, and pull off a win. Do you think if you weren't suffering from the blister situation? a couple of weeks ago that there wouldn't have even been an issue with the trainer coming out just to see what was going on, more of an opportunity to kind of work your way through it? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think the trainer would have come out um, w without it, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? I, I feel good physically, I just didn't make pitches, and um, that's, that's kind of it. Does it affect you on a certain pitch more than others? Um, not necessarily. Just trying to trying to really establish the fastball. I had a pretty good fastball going in the first two innings. So, um, you know, it's it's not necessarily one pitch. It's just kind of it is what it is at this point, and and trying to learn how to deal with it and, and execute. And you know, I assume that you know my goal is is to be better next time. But you know, at the end of the day, I've said it a million times. I've you know I've had a few tough ones this year, and and I haven't sunk the ship. Or you know, we're still a really good team, and. Um, yeah, Dave, knowing the outside pressure that's been on Gavin Lux and perhaps some pressure of his own on himself, how good is it to see him be able to work counts and capitalize in situations um, even when he's not necessarily expecting something soft in that at bat and, and give the team the lead and ultimately the win? Um, it, it's, it's good. It's good to see. Um, I think that he's playing much more like himself, uh, more free and easy. Um, and yeah, hit a ball the other way for a homer and then that ball down below stayed through it um, with obviously a big hit the difference in the game. Um, but just taking good quality at bats and it, it's fun to watch and everyone knew it was in there. Sometimes it just takes a little time to kind of get your feet under you. You guys come from behind several times tonight but also leave a village on base with 15 guys left on base. Are you thinking in the dugout that you're shooting yourselves in the foot and, and really thankfully come away with a win? Um, yeah, I think a little bit of that. I, I thought, um, you know, still, I thought offensively, you know, to get guys on base, you still have to have good at-bats to leave them on. Um, yeah, pushing them across certainly is something. Um, but I thought offensively, we did a nice job. Um, you know, Walker, I thought the stuff was good early. Um, just made a couple bad pitches. Um, and, and I thought the bullpen overall you know, did a nice job. And you guys did a really good job getting walks tonight. I mean, what the amount of walks that you earned, um, you know, speaks a lot to what you guys are doing offensively. I mean, how, how big is that in, in terms of being a part of your game? It's, it's great. It's a big part of our game. And I think that's something we talk about is um, just taking good at bats. And, and you take what the pitcher gives you. And I thought, uh, you know, all of our guys, I thought, used the big part of the field at times tonight. And, um, you know, doing that, taking walks when, when given to you. So, um, yeah, again, offensively, I thought that approach um, collectively was pretty good. Walker says the blister was not a factor tonight, that it wasn't physical. He just wasn't landing his pitches. He gets into trouble in the third inning. I mean, how much is it physical versus just not, not hitting his spots? Um, I, I think it's a combo. Um, obviously, you know, Walker's, uh, you know, going through something he really hasn't ever really had to deal with. So, um, you know, he's just so accountable to himself and holds himself to a high standard and expects to make pitches. And, um, and that's what we love about him. Um, so I think that for us, just kind of monitoring, managing, managing uh, obviously the workload and make sure he's, you know, ready to make his next start and, and get through. What a wild run. game this was tonight. Dodgers race a four-end deficit. They get it to extras. They score four in the top of the tenth, and you're thinking smooth sailing in the bottom of the tenth. Arizona winds up scoring three and putting the tying run on before they sneak out. Arizona in the first half of the game, Dodgers in the second half of the game, but there's some topics we're going to be talking about for a while. The Walker blister, that's going to be interesting to see how that goes out. Does he miss his next start? Does they extend him? And then Kenley Jansen. You know, Kenley at times has been very, very good. Pitcher of the month last month, but you know, all of a sudden, it's just here and there, here and there. And I worry a little bit about him. And maybe it's just the environment coming in with the four runs, yeah. but maybe it's something that he really needs to fix.
Gavin Lux was great tonight, two home runs. Uh, tomorrow, Clayton Kershaw goes for the Dodgers. We were talking about it tonight, but he's starting to put together an, a uh, Cy Young case. Yeah, I mean, uh, Darvish is at a one four four. I think Clayton's at about a one five. Yep. He's going to start to be qualified in almost all categories. and He stays hot through the end of the year. Yeah, watch out. Maybe number three or four? Number yeah, it'll be, four. It'll be number four for him, and only four pitchers have ever done that. So it'll be something interesting to watch as the season rolls on. Game two of the series tomorrow night.